teachers sometimes won't do that because they feel a little intimidated. When we go in and evaluate or when, you know, Jim or somebody asks them, they feel a little bit intimidated. These people were able to come in completely unbiased and they felt that way and they weren't intimidated and they were able to open up and ask them. And if Dr. Lyra said, hey, you know what, this was good, but maybe you didn't look at it that way. And they would say, okay, and they wanted to sit with him to be able and find out. Give me some everyday practical solutions of things I can do in the classroom. And, and he was able to give them. They were able to bounce things off of him back and forth. So it was, okay. it was very valuable. It was, it was yeah. probably. Yeah. Yes. And one of the things, you know, I look at this, and believe it or not, I read these uh, things. I guess I'm everything else to do because I'm retired. Um, <laughs> On page 47 in this uh, attachment, they have, you know, he says, the idea, he says, diagnosis, prescriptives, uh, developmental, sustainment. These are the things that, you know, were, where were we, what, in general terms, what we did and where are we going? And how are we going to, you know, continue to say, I, I know that, that I mean, it, it sounds it's kind easy of like, when I'm you it does, that, because it's kind of like that, this. Yeah. We were doing things, but what he did, he came in and told us how to, Refine, how, refine how, to, how, to, how to strengthen our curriculum, how to pick up the rigor in the classroom, how to pick up the rigor on the evaluations. Uh, you know, that's what he did, is he helped us strengthen our curriculum so that we could help the kids and help meet the rigor of the new curriculums and what these tests are required. Okay. We, we just want to make sure if a dollar spent is a dollar. Yeah, because it was definitely 32 this year, 42 this year, 50 this year. Dr. Hamilton can tell you it's, it's being paid with Title I and Title II money. And Title II, a certain amount has to be spent on professional development. Right? Title II is professional development. Title II is professional development. So this is where we're bringing in somebody that impacts everybody on the staff instead of sending people out all over the place. All right. and and the other number of comments right here, just to finish up, because you're asking for a synopsis, it's very hard, and we're actually trying to move away from that. We're, we're trying to get away from the global approach to everybody's going to get this presenter, and everybody's going to listen to this presenter, when it may only be relevant to mm -hmm. one grade level, one subject. So what he does, or what they do in fifth grade at Reeves, it may be extremely different than third grade at Reeves, and may be totally different than third grade at Quarles or something. So it, it's uh, it's very directed and prescriptive as to what's happening. So a synopsis is, is, is too broad. It's extremely broad. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if we want to look at something, useful. they have the data. We have we, we have a notebook about the size of that one. We will be glad to. Uh, copy and get to you if you would like it. Right. And we're actually still working yeah. on that because we're just getting test uh, results back, so we will update the results. Thank you. 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 Um, uh, I, I would just want to, to comment on this a second, Tony, because um, I'm lost now. Uh, I know them were were, were uh, militarily, but there was there was. That's oh. not that one, Craig. This is another. This one. is this is the This is, is the, 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 the agreement with Gulfport. Right. What they're yeah. asking is because they're getting these military in, Hi. they wanted a standard form just outlining the fact that they will not send their local district money with us, okay. to us. What we will receive is from the state. Um, no ADA. district. No district money. And we wouldn't allow any of our district money to go with somebody that we would need. That's fine, that's fine. Even whether it's a teacher or anybody else, your local money stays local. So I don't think they any trust us that they wanted it in <laughs> contract for All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, number 11. Approval of audit contract for FY10. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Second. Any discussion? Yes. Uh, we we are, um, last year or year before. I'm not sure exactly which when that occurred. That um, we were talking about. Uh, the state said that you have to change your auditors every yes. three years. Where are we in that? This, this is great. the this first is, year. This is changing. Right. This is the first year. That's this why. Auditor a matter of fact, these people came to us a year ago, and uh, Fortenberry, Jack Fortenberry, is who we've used in the past. Right. And
and uh, because we've used him the last three years, we had to make a change this year. We told this firm last year, because they were very price competitive compared to uh, Wright Ward, Hatton and Gould, and then Fortenberry and them. And we told them, I said, I'm gonna keep Fortenberry my third year. I said, but if you'll come back next year and give us a proposal again, I said, I, I will most likely can do business with you. And uh, so we are, we are in we our are change. Compliant. So this, that was my question. Are we in compliance? This yes. is the year that we've got to change. Okay. Uh, Opposed? Jamie's not worried either, are you? No. Not really. Number 12, <laughs> approval of salary schedules and changes. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Second. Oh. Discussion? <laughs> what? I, yes. I, I look through these salary things and it, it, I go on and on and on and I get so confused. Uh, but that's okay. One of the things that um, I, I do have a question about, about in this salary schedule change, I want to make sure that I'm asking the same question along with what uh, we are about to vote on. Uh, this is the supplement to salaries. These are the non-certified. No, no, this, this is non-certified and then... It's, it's, it's all of them. It's, it's all, all of them. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said it's my question all. is referenced to supplement. It's teacher, it's teacher assistance. It's uh, clerical, technical, right, maintenance. Right, right. It's your extracurricular uh, time. Coaching. Time. Okay. Okay. The question is, when we are looking at these factors that we are using for the various coaches and assistants and all those, we, 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 we do factors that... Um, determine what their supplement would be. Yes. And my question then is, how are these factors weight? I mean, how do we come up with these? And, and, and I know I've seen them every year, but I'm, every year time I'm, I'm, I'm confused about this. Well, okay, and I'm first, kind of being confused. All right, first of all, well, several years ago, many years ago, we kind of backed into it. We, we took where we kind of like looked at what all our sports were being paid because it was it was kind of like derived off of a uh, it's, it's, it comes from the teaching salary schedule also but it, we were paying people for Christmas you know just there was a lot of things that were that how they counted their days and everything so we totally got away from the number of days like football is going to be a uh, an extra 20, 20 additional days or, or anything like that. So what we did is we sat down and arrived at the certain, if you if you had to say how much is this sport weighted based on time, the, the length of time, the length of the sport, the time that's put in for the sport and all that, that's where they arrived at like for a head coach, I think it's either 22 and a half percent or something like that. Yeah, 22, 22 and a half. Yeah, then they said an assistant, a, a coordinator, which is a defensive offensive coordinator, like 12 and a half percent. An assistant coach is just regular 10 percent. And then they looked at all the sports and they came up with these different percentages for those groups of things. And, and it was a committee who we did this. Yes. Several board members and um, an athletic director two or three years ago. I know it's leather book. I've been more two or three years. It's been this been in effect since I've been here, and every time I look at it, I say, "What are these factors?" You know, we did this and three years ago before you were on it. I don't think so, I was. I don't think I was actually on the. Me. You you were on it. I know. Along with the, with um. We may have redone. We may have redone some percentages. Yes, yeah, we but we were already were using. This was this when I came on board. We were using the you were percentage. using percentages. You redid it about three years ago because. The other thing that we said is that uh, whether or not somebody has a AAA or a Masters or whatever has absolutely nothing to do with the coaching, the teaching degree as far as a Masters degree and all that. So everything is tied to number of years of a teacher. So if you're a 13-year teacher, then you're going to multiply whatever factor, whatever sport you're in times that 13A certificate. If you've got 25 years, you're going to multiply it against the 25-year. Uh, uh, the what? Pay 